Hey guys, welcome to your fourth intermediate Lewis scripting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to run a speed test on your code. So this is going to be good for just seeing how fast your code runs or comparing performance of uh, one block of code to the other. You know, if you want to compare your code to someone else's or your code to another block of your code to see what method of doing whatever you're doing is faster then that's what you're gonna learn here today so we are gonna use a couple or one method here that you guys may not know about today but first um, for i i equals one five hundred do uh, equal p equals ins instance dot new part uh, p dot position equals math dot or vector three dot new math dot random one uh, fifty Parent equals workspace. Okay, I'm just gonna run that code in the command bar real quick. So we just generated 500 blocks within a small radius of each other. Now, okay, so the new thing we're gonna learn today is called tick. Local t equals tick. Tick basically returns the local time on your machine. Uh, for i equals 1, 3, do wait, 1, print t, or tick. So, yeah, that's what it prints. Uh, I think that's you know, I'm not even going to try to explain what that is. I'm probably wrong, but uh, it's going to be a lot shorter number once we use it how I plan on using it. Um, okay, so let's group all 500 of these parts into a model. Control G. Okay. the heck my keyboard's wet I'm gonna have to fix that in a minute okay lo local m equals workspace dot model get children local t equals tick the local time on our machine right now for i equals one uh, the length of m do m i dot brick color equals brick color dot random um, Okay, so let's run this. Uh, duh. Print t minus tick. Uh, that was the tick then, this is the tick now. Because we saved that tick to a variable. It should not be negative. I'm pretty sure I wrote that wrong. So that's how many seconds that took. It took like uh, 0.02% of a second. Now, um, local t equals tick again for iv in pairs m do v dot brick color equals brick color dot random print tick minus now let's see what this does. Uh, time was. Okay, so hmm, 
Okay, this is not a good enough example. Um, four height. Okay, you know what? Never mind about that. Um, Okay, so I did do that right. Anyway, what I was trying to prove there, but uh, might have utterly failed, was that using a um, using a numeric for loop, which is when you declare for i equals one, uh, blah blah blah, instead of using in pairs, a numeric loop is faster on a large scale. So if I was doing a lot of things inside this loop it would probably prove to be a more substantial difference but I thought that would be a good example to use uh, for uh, testing performance but you know most cases you won't need to test performance of the speed of your code because Lua code already runs pretty fast but this is just for a time test when you want to see how fast whatever method you're doing is going. So I suppose that's it for now. Um, I'm pretty sure my next video is going to be on data stores. Maybe data stores or... Um, no, I'm pretty sure it's going to be data stores. Um, another thing I keep forgetting to announce, I'm going to be getting new channel art soon. I might actually upload my new banner right after I upload this video. I'm also going to get a new profile icon, or whatever you call it soon. The smaller icon that displays uh, under the videos. So yeah, new graphics coming pretty soon. Next video is going to be on data stores. I'll see you guys next time.